since the last update, three sites have opened. Those are here in Berkshire, Texas, west of Houston, here in Jackson, Georgia, on Interstate 75, south of Atlanta, and up here in Castleton on Hudson, New York, south of Albany. There's also been several sites spotted under construction since the last update. Those are <clears throat> right here in Marion, Indiana, Burbank, Ohio, and Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Let's look at, at those in table form. For those are, who are not familiar, the way I do this is anything that's new, I highlight in yellow. And it's also sorted from north to south by time zone. Uh, Castleton on Hudson has a canopy, and you'll see I roll a slide deck at the end of this update uh, where you can see all the canopy locations. Brand new location, uh, looks very nice in a underserved area, apparently. Uh, Jackson, Georgia, well south of the metropolitan area of Atlanta in need of uh, interstate um, charging along the I-75 corridor. And Brookshire, Texas, on Interstate 10, heading towards San Antonio, outside of Houston. The spotted under construction, new one is Burbank, Ohio. It is one of the ones that have uh, been awarded NEVI funding. Mount Sterling, Kentucky, on Interstate 64, headed towards West Virginia, out of Lexington. And Marion, Indiana on Interstate um, 69, going from Indianapolis towards Detroit. There's been a couple of articles that have um, come up and I wanna go over those. Uh, the first one is this one here from Ars Technica. It was provided to me by Eric at the News Coulomb YouTube channel. It uh, discusses uh, artificial intelligence being used in order to determine um, opportunistic locations in order to dis install DC fast chargers. I will go over that in just a second, but one thing I do want to call out, the author is, I believe, the founder of Ars Technica, Jonathan M. Gitlin. I believe he mentions that further on down. Um, and he speaks to, at General Motors, a John Francis, the chief data and analytics officer. Down here, it says that by the end of this year, 2024, it told ARS it should have, and there's ARS Technica, 200 locations operational. Now I'm gonna go back to this article in just a second, but I wanna call out that point specifically. Because here in the December press release, it talks about several things. One of which is uh, plug and charge, the um, the um, advantages to General Motors customers being able to get discounted rates and the ability to reserve stalls en route similar to the Mercedes-Benz charging hub. But right here, by the end of 23, it's expected that at least 25 pilot and flying J centers will have uh, charging, which happened. That did happen. They got 25 locations open before December 31st with approximately 200 locations targeted by the end of 2024. So that looks like this. This map is the 200 by the end of 2024. In order to accomplish that goal, they will need to open four stations per week. In the month of January, they open no stations. In the month of February, they opened one station per week. So far this month, they seem to be trending to about two stations per week, so the pace is definitely picking up. And conceivably, what we're going to be seeing is a uptick in stations opening. And with the additional uh, stations that have been spotted under construction, the project is definitely picking up steam. So there's no question that this is not a project that's on pause, uh, nor is it slowing down. It's increasing in... Um, in activity. Okay, so let's go back to that article. In the article, it's very interesting. They talk about how 
in General Motors that are using artificial intelligence for non-sexy things. You know, they're not trying to boil the ocean. They're trying to use practicality. And as a professional technologist, I can say that, you know, there, there's these flash in the pan uh, newsworthy things that technology can do that will be disruptive and people kind of latch on to that. And I don't know if everyone remembers, it was only a couple of years ago, it was blockchain that was going to revolutionize the entire way we operate as a society uh, with the immutable ledger because transactions will occur and they will be in an immutable ledger. It, it didn't happen. I mean, blockchain found a little niche that it's being used for and artificial intelligence as it currently is described and really what it is is a is a means of doing machine learning analytics with a human interface that's intuitive is is more or less what artificial intelligence is now you can feed models so there's tensorflow there's pytorch and a few other ways of uh, training models and fun things like that but it's similarly going to find certain niches that it's going to be operationally effective at and that's what general motors is trying to do is saying okay well here's the technology what can we practically use this technology for we're not going to try to you know invent skynet or anything like that just what can we actually use this thing for and i understand that the uh, designers of uh, vehicles are using artificial intelligence in order for suggestions to be made for new models they feed it some uh, questions they train the models and then out comes a suggestion on a new model and it might give them an idea on one way or another in order to turn in a different direction so that is one thing that it's getting used for. Another thing is that when you have a, a nation footprint that has traffic patterns and um, locations of the 750 or so pilot flying J, and it looks like this, um, that you need to install DC fast chargers on, which ones should you probably target first in order for the project to get off to a good start? And they apparently used uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence in order to uh, feed the data in and allow the uh, models to crunch those numbers. So there's the practical approach and apparently they're using that to some extent. I'm not really sure how General Motors is playing a part in location selection. I know that their partnership with Pilot Flying J um, has branding is co-branded, but I'm not sure if it goes down to the level of being able to select locations in order to install DC fast chargers, but it must because according to this, um, they fed the data in. So Pilot Flying J must be very accommodating for allowing General Motors to help select the locations. Um, but this is going on in the background, which is, um, as a technologist, very interesting for me to uh, see because um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, um, model training and all those things are um, topics of interest as of late, which is which is helpful. As far as the Pilot Flying J, um, as I said, we have three new locations open. We have three new locations spotted under construction. The pace is quickening, and likely the update I give next will have uh, hopefully half a dozen of locations uh, that have been opened. I'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck of the Canopy locations, and thank you very much for watching.